Hi, just a quick two minute tech tip video to do with multimeters and a feature you may not have known about with your multimeter and one you probably won't find in the manuals. Hmm, I should update my manuals to actually include this. Um, if you've got a multimeter with uh, temperature functionality, most, you know, any decent multimeter is going to measure temperature with uh, what's called a K-type uh, thermocouple. They come in different types, but almost all multimeters use K-type thermocouples. has to do with the composition of the metal that's used for the uh, two wires in here. I've done a whole very extensive tutorial video on thermocouples, so I'll link that in up here and down below, and at the end, check it out. Anyway, you might know that uh, some more advanced multimeters like this 121 and this Keysight uh, 1272A might actually have an internal temperature sensor that actually tells you what the internal temperature is of the multimeter. And of course, if we've got it on uh, temperature mode at the, well, it's, uh, I'll explain that in a minute. But if you plug in your K-type thermocouple, of course, then it measures the external temperature on the thermocouple. And of course, if I touch that, boom, it goes up like that. And Likewise, over here, we plug it in and it goes from overload to measuring uh, the external temperature there. But what if you've got a multimeter that doesn't uh, have that internal uh, temperature readout display, like this one, or this one, or countless other multimeters that will not measure just the ambient temperature? Can be handy to measure the ambient temperature sometimes. So, how can you do it? and you forgot your temperature probe, of course, you can just plug in your temperature probe and Bob's your uncle, right? But if you forgot or don't have your temperature probe handy, how can you measure it? Aha, it's easy. All you've got to do is plug your probes in and short them out like that. <laughs> there is your ambient temperature, believe it or not. And yes, this should work with uh, practically any multimeter that measures temperature. There it is, 24.5. We can now measure the ambient temperature of the room uh, without a thermocouple. Brilliant. Now there are some oddball uh, meters like this uh, Fluke 17B that will actually measure the ambient temperature or it will try to... Dude, look, I rub my hands over there and it's it's all over the shop. But it doesn't show open like um, other meters, including other flukes like this. And uh, you can do exactly the same thing though. You can plug that in and it's all over the shop. And we do that and bingo, short our probes, we've got our ambient temperature. This one's reading a bit high, I don't know why. So why does this work? Well, there's a very specific reason for this and I've gone through that in my extensive thermocouple tutorial video, but it has to do with the Seebeck effect and how thermocouples work. In this particular case, when you short it out like this, we actually read zero millivolts, but every multimeter that measures temperature like this using K-type thermocouples must have an internal temperature sensor somewhere, be it built into the the multimeter chip setter, it could be like an external little SOC 23 temperature sensor or whatever. It's got to measure it internally, even though it doesn't display it. And by shorting out the probes like this, uh, you are basically, um, you know, shorting out the input. So it generates zero volts like that. And therefore it defaults to the ambient temperature it's measuring with the internal temperature sensor. And this is either done with like a, a lookup table or with like a polynomial function. And watch my tutorial video, it won't go into the details. So when you short out the probe, probes like this, it basically thinks that the external uh, temperature probe is at, the K-type probe is at ambient temperature. So that's what it displays. So this is why your meter can uh, often do weird things if you've got it on temperature and just have your probes flapping around in the breeze like this. It's fine if you short them out because it's measuring like um, in the order of, uh, you know, microvolts. And there are differences in uh, meters like, uh, you know, this one, once again, it's got dual readout, measures the internal uh, temperature. And of course, if we plug that in, it'll work just fine and dandy. And other ones like this uh, Tektronix, for example, eh, it's a little bit out and you'll notice I'm putting my finger near the thing. I'll rub my feet on the carpet. Oh, 54. It's just like, yeah, it's all over the shop uh, like that. But of course, if we plug our probes in like that and we short it out, it should get to the ambient temperature, although that one's going a bit high. Hmm. And this should work with any meter on the market because anything, as I said, that uses a K-type thermocouple must have an internal temperature sensor because that's the only way that it can accurately uh, measure and compensate for uh, the K-type thermocouple like is designed to be used with these meters. You can't do it any other way. And just to prove that this is a legit thing and it is measuring the ambient temperature and not just some, uh, you know, pre-programmed internal uh, offset, 
or something like that. I've got it inside my thermal chamber here. And as you can see, it's pretty darn close to that internal temperature. Just be aware of the uh, thermal lag because the temperature sensor is inside the plastic case and inside a rubber holster and all sorts of things. So yeah, there will be a quite a significant uh, temperature time lag there before the ambient temperature gets inside the meter. So there you go. I hope you might find that little tip useful one day. And as I said, go check out the extensive thermocouple tutorial video I'll link in because it, there's a lot of uh, trick and a lot of uh, science that goes into uh, the materials in the K-type thermocouples and the algorithms and lookup tables uh, that multimeters have to follow to, in order to actually get accurate uh, temperature readings using these uh, dissimilar metal thermocouple probes. It's really interesting stuff. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.